Hey everybody, it's Ross and I'm excited about life. That's right, no matter what my problems may be, life is good. Life is very, very good. Hopefully this message finds you and finds you well. I was talking to somebody the other day about Whitney Houston and we were talking about what happened to Whitney. And they asked me where I believe she is at this present time. Whether she's in heaven, doing well, or in hell not doing well. Well, I had to say, I don't know. It's not for me to judge, but I do know what God says about it. And it got me into a scripture verse about the sin leading to death. You know, we've all sinned. Everybody sinned. We're all sinned and fallen short of God's glory. God being perfect, man being sinful. If you've broken one of the commandments, you have sinned against God. If you've lied, stolen, or committed adultery, used God's name in vain as a cuss word, you've sinned and I've sinned. We've all sinned, and because of sin, sin brings forth death. But Whitney Houston came up in the conversation, and it brought me to a scripture in 1 John 5, 16 and 17. And some people even say that the Bible is not relevant to today's society and what goes on and that is absolutely false the Bible is so relevant to what happens today it will stagger the imagination and that verse says in paraphrasing that there is a sin that leads to death that's not breaking the commandment sin we have all done that we all need forgiveness of sin and God has provided that through Christ being perfect in every way, the perfect sacrifice. But there is a sin, according to 1 John, that leads to death. It's a fascinating passage, 1 John 5, 16 and 17. You know, you and I can expedite our death by the way we live our lives. That's right. I mean, you could be doing things to your body that are harmful to your body. You can actually be paying for bad decisions that you've made with the way you live. And whether Whitney Houston was in that situation or not, it's not for me to judge. But it appears that her lifestyle became the sin that leads to death. That her lifestyle and bad judgments expedited her death. What a tragedy that a person like that, whether it be Whitney Houston or some other Hollywood stars, have expedited their death by the way they live their life. It's a tragedy. Hopefully this message will find you and hopefully it finds you not in the sin that, leading, that leads to that premature death. We've all sinned and fallen short of God's glory. But hopefully you are not committing sin that will harm your body and potentially expedite your death and judgment that is to come for everyone. So that was an interesting conversation I had. What happened to Whitney? Well, I don't know if she's in heaven or not. Somebody said that she grew up in church or was a Christian. I don't know that. There's no way I can, I can know that. But you have to be born again to enter the kingdom of heaven. And hopefully this message will find you. And if you're not born again, today is the day to receive the gift of eternal life through repentance and faith in Christ who knew no sin, the ultimate sacrifice God made through Christ. So hopefully this finds you, finds you encouraged. Look me up on Facebook. I have other encouraging videos for you. Until next time, hope to see you down the road. And always remember, do what you can, where you can, when you can, the very best you can. God will never, ever let you down. Take care.